Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friend 23 here and welcome back to a new episode of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Last episode, we explored the depths. Um, we did it actually in, in two episodes. Because we did two of the temples in the depths. And then in the end of the last episode, we went back and told her about this temple. And she told us that more statues existed down in the depths. One of them we have already done, but she also told about the one in the east that we heard of from the um, from the Sony I uh, like robot thing is cons constructs or what they're called. I want to go here because if I remember correctly, up here you could trade those. Um, what what are they called? Let me just quickly check that up. Uh, 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 by type. Here we have them. Uh, oh, we can't see them here. We see them here, I think. Yeah, this one. Crystallized charge. I think you trade them up here for more permanent battery thingies. So let's just talk to this steward construct. This is a crystal refinery. I can take uh, your crystallized charge and use them to produce energy wells. So let's try it. To produce three energy wells, Will require 300 crystal shards. Is that acceptable? Get producing. Please wait. Sorry, I had to make a cut there because I got a phone call that I needed to take quickly. Uh, okay, so we we. Gave him 300 crystallized charge and we got three energy wells from that. A small part made from crystallized charge. It increased the maximum energy that can be stored in your energy cell. Nice. So now we have two permanent ones. That's actually great. But that's expensive. 300 for a full one. I would enjoy further visits from you, dude. I will be a returning customer. Because of the last episode when we learned about all the contraptions you could build. And we found um, two episodes ago that the steering wheel was indeed existing in this in this world. I'm gonna prioritize to get a lot of batteries so I can just cruise around with my different uh, contraptions. So this episode, because we have done most of the things we can do here in the middle, I guess. <laughs> or in the central Hyrule. And I know that a lot of people have like told me to go to Kakariko village and it's out to the east. So I'm not sure. I think let me open the map instead so we can like it. So I can point what I'm talking about. I don't think this is Kakariko village because that's if I remember correctly, that's the like water village with the water type of uh, people. <laughs> So is Kakariko village down here maybe? In because this is more east. This is also east, but you have two east. Because here is northeast, I would call it. And southeast would be this type. So here probably is some type of village. And our horse is over here. No, that's not our horse. This is our horse. And I don't remember. Is it correct that you can like bring your horse even if it's somewhere else. So I'm gonna travel to this stable and just find that out. Let's quickly run to this stable. And just see if it's possible to bring your horse from here. Hello, Laden. You're a night owl, I see. Welcome, Link. Do you want to re register a horse or take one out for a ride? I want to take a horse. You wanted Yanni? Yes. All right, we'll get Yanni ready for you. Okay, nice. So you can quick travel your horse he here. So I remembered correctly, that will say. Thank you for waiting. Since you're here, would you like to equip your horse? No, we don't need a towing harness. Uh, horses that have a lot of stamina can run at top speed for a long time. However, they can't turn well when they're running at top speed. If your horse can't turn sharply, you're more likely to hit an obstacle. So think before you ask your horse to sprint. Say, Link, have you heard about the trouble in Sora's domain? 
So Sora is the the water town, I think. All this good water polluted by some kind of mysterious muck. As far as I know, no one knows where it came from. It's a terrible for it's terrible for the Sora, of course, being water folks. I'm not sure how they manage. Sora's domain is to the east, past the Lanaru wetlands. I used to recommend it to tourists, but well. I understand what you mean, dude. Uh, and it's correct, it's night time, so let's sleep in that uh, weird bed. Like the horse god bed, because we haven't done that yet. So hello again, good sir. Welcome to the stable, do you want to lodge with us? Absolutely, and I want a Melania bed. If you sleep in a Melania bed, not only will you make wake up more energized, uh, the horse god may also share a mystical message. It's a popular choice among our customers. Want to try it? Yeah, let me sleep until the morning. Okay, rest well. Let's see what we get from this now. I am Malania, the god of horses, who grants quicker hooves and thicker hides. In northeast Hyrule, near a stable in Akala, I am waiting. Ooh. Nice. I guess that's the best horse to to catch. So near a stable, in a around a stable near the town Akala, which I call Akala because we have a Swedish town called Akala. Uh, the horse. Is, so I'm gonna thank you, thank you. We got one point also. So now we're two points away from the next reward. Come back anytime, of course I will do. Uh, so. I'm not sure where Akala are, but it's probably somewhere here. So I'm just gonna do this and... I'm not sure how I should remember that this is the horsey thing I'm talking about. Hmm. Why not put the stamp box? Uh, like that. Wanna buy some arrows, I think. Uh, I want to buy... And I want to buy all your arrows. Oh. Wrong button. Take them all. You're expensive, but it's okay. I don't need anything else. And also, maybe we should try to talk to some people here. Uh, to get that... Um, you know, we have the quest with, uh, if we talk to in every stable to research uh, where Zelda has gone, we can get that uh, froggy, froggy outfit that makes us able to climb walls even when it's slippery walls. Ah. So I will try to talk to people here and just see if, if we can progress that quest for a bit, now when we're here. Uh, if you head south on the road from this stable, you come upon a crossroad that takes you to the mountain. Head all the way down that crossroad and you'll be in Kakariko village. That's also where we're going, so it's nice that he tell us. It'd be a bit easier to find after the ring ruins fell, since you can use them as a landmark. You probably know that the fallen Sonai runes have been found all over the world since the upheaval. Well, the one at Ka Kakari Kakariko village have been dubbed the ring runes, owning their distinctive circular shapes. There are also some stone slabs there with words like Sage and Demon King carved in Sonya script. Oh. The leader of our team, the best in the world uh, at uh, deciphering Sonya script, is heading up the investigation in person. I know, we, I have already talked to him. It's all very exciting, I just wish the place was a little easier to get to. I should get going too, my fellow researcher will start wondering where I am. Kakariko village is hidden away in a mountain range. Even with a landmark to go by, I worry I'll get lost. Maybe I'll run through the direction a few more times in my head. You should probably do that. Ah. Hello there. Yeah. You're the one who was searching for the same bubble frog I was, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's correct. Ah. <laughs> After we met, curiosity got the better of me and I decided to go looking for a bubble frog in a cave. But that was not a great idea. Caves are dark and there's no way to know what's lurking around in there. Plus that uh, strange duo, they just ended up disappearing from Woodlands Temple. That's because I talked to them. Ah. After that, I didn't really know what to do with myself, so I did some wandering and some thinking too, and, end up, and ended up here. And you know, I've decided that I'm, I'm a careful man, and I like to take, I like, I'll take comfort and safety over rewards and riches any day. Sounds like a smart 
smart plan if you're if you're fine with with a simple life i guess oh here he is could be a huge story there, this rain, huh, partner? Will it ever end? Oh no, no need to answer that. I know it'll end at some point. Just making small talk. I got a very interesting lead about our missing princess. We could have a pretty huge story here. Sounds as if one night a while back, and uh, I'm not sure how far, Princess Zelda borrowed the stable's farm tools. That's a bit unusual. Why would our uh, princess need farm tools? But this story has another odd twist. She promised to return them and didn't. Now this is all now this all might seem trivial. She's a busy princess after all. Still, these are strange times. So I got to thinking, only weapons decayed during the upheaval. Maybe the princess was in desperate need for tools for wait, pen, hold on. I I you've gotten ahead of yourself. We need to gather the facts when what where who. Let's start at the beginning. I heard that a man named Isra lent her the tools. He's right around here. Watch over the stable, stable's raft, I, he I heard. Watch us over the stable's raft, I heard. Let's get to work, partner. Now we should talk to some dude. <laughs> I have already forgotten his name. Was it Isra, Is Imra, Isra, something like that. And it's not these kind of people, no? We should get to work, you say, but I'm not sure where we should get to work. Let me just uh, read here the missing farm tools. Uh, uh, apparently Isra, who looks after the stable's raft, might have more details. And the raft, is that boat? Yeah, here. Ooh, is that something I can... Take. I just want to see what it draws. Okay, it only drops bird drumsticks, and um, that makes sense. Oh, this raft is a bit. Uh, what is it called? It has a stream. I don't know the word for when it's uh, the water is going in a direction, but I think you all know what I mean, though. That was a Hyrule Bass, I should have taken it. So this is uh, Isra. Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. You saw the princess. Oh, I was wondering when you guys would show up. You work with Pen from the newspaper, right? That's correct. I didn't want this to get out, because I don't want people to think I'm saying bad things about Princess Zelda. But she borrowed our stable's farm tool and hasn't given them back yet. That's no good, Zelda. That's no good. That was a long time ago, but I do remember she said she needed them for something at Floret Sandbar. It's around the river bend and then a good distance after that. Uh... I take the raft here there myself, but after all that stuff fell from the sky, I'm having a hard time getting down the river. So you might say I'm in a bind. Uh... So I, I know we could clear up the mess if someone could take me down river to Floret Sandbar on the raft. Dude, let's go. Let's go then. Ah. I can take you. Ah. What? You mean that fella? You take me to Florid Sandbar? Oh. Thanks. Can't tell how much I appreciate your offering to do that. Don't forget to cut the rope when you're ready to launch. Ah, here is one of those steering wheels. <laughs> they have been here all, the, all along and I was wondering for so long if they even existed. Oh my god, maybe I should... <laughs> there we go. So here we want to put that in the middle, like that. And we take a motor as well. Oh, dip it in the water. <laughs> and is that an energy pod? Yeah. Let's just attach the energy pod wherever. Was that all? That was all. Then uh, let's cut the rope and get going. Can we cut it like this? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> oh, I love the steering wheels. Careful at the river bend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to ride the boat. 
Is that like an unlimited amount of power? It seems like it. Or does it shrink actually? Maybe it actually does shrink. Yeah, it does shrink, but really slowly though. This is peaceful. Uh, I just wanted to drop the steering for a bit to just I think maybe we shouldn't use all the energy we can just Go straight down. Do I okay if I press X I just let it go. I don't need to press the jump button So where are we going here next? I think maybe... Is it... There we're going? Stop near that dock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. that enough maybe we should just steer in ourselves a bit and then <laughs> now we're gonna crash land okay nice cuts in oh woohoo we made it we did ah. you did a great job getting us here where'd you learn how to handle a raft like that I guess I'm just a natural I thought I'd be I thought it'd be a rough run but it all turned out fine Huh? Up in the sky, there's something or er, someone coming at us. Is it a bird? My fellow colleague? Yeah. Ooh, finally caught up with you two. I was flying around this whole area, partner, trying to find our facts when I saw you on this raft. I figured you chased down our story, so I flew right on, on, right on down to help. But, uh, where are we? Hey! What do you think you're doing just barging in here? This place is for flowers and plants, all of them precious. You better watch out, you'll rue the day you trample on any, any of them. She was unnecessarily mad. Whoa, who is this? Ever met her before, partner? Nope. Sorry ma'am, we're just looking for some farm tools that I lent to Princess Zelda way back. I promise we won't pick any flowers. Picking them? I'm more worried about you kicking them. <laughs> Wait a minute, farm tools? Did you say something about farm tools? Ha! That's right, some farm tools from our stable. I want them back. Ha! Oh well, that's my fault. I have them. Will they like uh, <laughs> fall in love or something? Because they are both so mad. Uh, this area is home to, the, to Princess Zelda's plant sanctuary. She asked me to take care of this special place with her. She loved these plants and spent a lot of time here, making sure the garden beds were happy homes for them. We meant to return the tools after we finished our work here. But the princess, well, they say she has went missing. And all our hard work was ruined when, oh, those darn ruins crashed down. It's been really awful. I've been working so hard since then to try to make it all nice again. Really? That's what happened? Now I think about it, I didn't tell the princess how soon I needed our stable stool back. They, these two are gonna fall in oh. love, I, trust me. As long as they're in good condition, it's no problem. I'll just go ahead and take them with me if you're done. Now I feel guilty for some reason. Didn't mean to make you hurry it up. All this was about the sanctuary for plants and flowers, huh? Sounds just like our princess to find time to... Sounds just like our princess to find time to work on the garden alongside alongside folks while restoring Hyrule. I tried to make these garden beds as perfect as they were before. It's just so hard on my own. If only someone would help. Sure, glad to help. Keep the, the tools a little longer. And here's a tip. Don't overwork the soil. And also, nope, 
That's all I got. Oh, what's with the face? You said you'll help? I accept your offer. What? I didn't say that. Well, close enough. So what if you don't say what you really think? I won't hold that against you. Now, how about you go work that soil like you said? I'll go tend to the flowers. We'll have this whole garden back in beautiful shape by the time the princess returns. It be the pride of Hyrule. Oh, and here's a tip from me. Put your back into it. So I can't w talk my way out of this one. And she uh, probably wrecked the tool if she used them wrong. Okay, fine. Seems like I'm up the creek without a paddle here. Or down it. Either way, I help. You can go. I'll stay here. What else have I got to do, right? That's true. But you two will find a good friendship or even love, maybe, if you keep working together. Uh, well, seems like we got those facts we wanted and those two worked it all out, I guess. I can't wait to write this up. Our readers loves... Our readers love glimpses into the princess life. Here. Here she was, helping to create a garden. Just need some water, sorry. Uh, expect, <clears throat> expect, expect the story in an issue of the paper soon. It'd be a real headline. Oh, that's right. This was our fir your first job, wasn't it? Partner, you did quite well to get such results in your first time out. Why, I'm feeling a little proud myself. Here's the start. Here's to the start of an old nest egg. 50 rupees. As you take on more stories, your base pay will obviously increase and there are bonuses of course. Keep up the good work. I'm off I'm off to report back to Tracy. See you around, partner. Bye -bye. So long. Bye-bye. Nice. Well, now we have completed one part of the of the potential princess sightings. That's actually great. Can we talk to these also again? Now then, there's no time to rest. I need to restore Hyrule's best garden as soon as possible so it's ready for when the princess returns. I don't want to walk in into that garden as well. What are you saying? Oh. All I wanted was those missing farm tools. I didn't expect, expect anything like this. But for Princess Zelda, I'll work my hardest. That's great, dude. Uh, and they told me if I went south, we will go come to Kakariko village. So Kakariko village is probably here somewhere. So quickly just teleport back to the stable, get our horse, and then we're on our way to Kakariko. Come here, horsey. Thank you, Yanni. Ooh, this is some valuable fruits that I haven't had in a while. Thank you. Okay, nice. Now we're starting to explore some of the east side. As well. I will let them be for today. So I guess if we go left here, we're gonna come to the Sonai village. And that's something we also should do soon. But we will start with the Kakariko for today. Gonna just quickly stop here and talk to this person with the horse. I think uh, that person sells things. Yeah. Hello there, sir. Say, are you familiar with Sora's domain? I am. It's found just past Lanaru wetlands Aww. to the east. Uh, I used to source fresh fish from Sora, but then sludge starting falling from the sky and polluting the water. Now they don't catch many fish anymore. Wretched, huh? But enough of that, to happier matters. Welcome to Nembe's Fine Goods. Please take a look at what I'm selling. I don't think I want anything. I want this one. Because if I remember correctly, we have a quest with giving that type of fish to someone. 
And milk is also good to take, because they are not the easiest to find. Aww. Same with the rice. It's good for cooking. Aww. Thank you for your good Aww. wares, sir. I appreciate it. <laughs> Let's just read here. Because here I feel like I could take the wrong turn. Or maybe not. <laughs> it's even good. Kakariko to the left, yeah, that was a, that what that was what I thought. And let's go then. Ooh. That one I probably wanna clear out. It's gonna talk to this girl or boy or what it what it is up here, and then we're gonna backtrack and fight that. Um, at enemy camp. Hi. Hello there. I hope your travels are treating you well. So, I take it. If you're struck up by conversation with a fashion forward type like me, all the way out here, you must also be searching for pieces of Miskus treasure. What's oh? that? Oh, you don't know? There was once a legendary bandit by the name Misko, but thievery isn't what made them le a legend. It was their unparalleled fashion sense. It's said that Misko collected rare outfits from all over the world and hid their pieces throughout Hyrule. <laughs> it may only be a story, but who could resist the call of garments like that? For fashion lovers like me, Misko's treasure is the ultimate score. That's why we're out in force trying oh. to find it. So fate and fashion must have brought the two of us together right here. Shall I tell you where pieces of Misko's treasures are said to be hidden? Please do. <laughs> I thought that might strike you fashionably fancy. Now, do you have a map? I do. Nice, you're gonna just put it there for me. Here's what I've heard. A piece of fairly wild outfit from Misko's collection said to fill the weaver with power is around here. A piece from a quite stylish outfit from Misko's collection said to let you quickly climb cliffs. That's nice, might be here. All of this information comes from my other fashion forward friends who travel in other regions. I'm not sure if any of these looks will fit with my personal sense of style, but you never know. If you're attempting a difficult journey, I'm sure styles I'm sure such styles could come in handy. That remind me, do you know about the great fairies? Great fairies? The great fairies have long existed throughout Hyrule and have been known to bless clothing. But since so much ugliness came to our land, I've heard that they were withdrawn from view. Though, I think one of them was seen near Woodland Stable in the north lately. What could that be all about? Oh, oh sorry. I could go on and on. It's been a while since I've been able to talk fashion with anyone. Time for me to get back to searching for Misko's legendary outfits. Good luck and goodbye. Goodbye. Great information. Is this a Koroko? No. Okay, they didn't quite see me, which was good. And is that a rush room? Yeah, I want those. <laughs> My bow is badly injured. Let's just boost some damage. Wow, that's <laughs> that's a bad aim. That's better, I guess. My bow broke. Now oh, they have seen me. Uh, 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 let's freeze. That's nice. And his friend. That's not enough. Ooh, nice headshot. Okay. I see the... I will actually use one of those. And I missed. That's unfortunate. Let's just bomb it then. Oh, I don't want to fight with a two-handed. Bring out uh, that one instead. And I need a shield. <laughs> like all my gear wasn't out. Or none, none of my gear was out rather. Wow. 
Gonna take that spear. Ah! You were a bit quicker than me. Guess we take this Traveler's Sword instead. Now we can take the spear. Spear. Oh my god, that's bad. <laughs> that was such a bad aim. Okay. Should we do this? Nice. That was a perfect little dodge. Ah, some apples. Always good for cooking. And I'm not sure, did I clear everything out now? Ah, it's one dude left. Let's just quickly snipe him. And also we want the, the loot from the guards up on the place there. Nice. That's actually great. Oh, and some more fire fruits. Ah, oh, here it was fire fruit. The spicy peppers. But it's the fire fruits I love. Baked apple. Some more baked apples. And I saw the loot down there as well. I'm gonna take it on the way down. Okay. We have too much in our hands. I'm gonna drop the spear. It starts raining. Even though the weather says sunny, it's raining. That makes sense. Then that means I don't can... I'm gonna have a hard time getting that rush room. Which is something I really want. Ah, it's actually quite easy. Thank you. Okay, it's good. I need to remember where they grow. I should have taken a picture on it, on the wall, so just for reference. Because those rush rooms are really handy when you're traveling far away. To get that extra movement speed. I will try to remember to just snatch a quick photo on it. Uh, next time I see one. Because I have forgotten the, this compendium once again after... I remember it for one episode when we did some photos. Like on the froggy and some two monsters here. The Bokalobins and all the items we found at that temple, you know? Here is even more. So here I'm actually gonna try to just Snatch a quick picture. I think that's a pretty good looking picture. But maybe we want to see how it looks on the body as well. Yeah, that's a better picture. Yeah, that's more. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you for standing as a model. <laughs> I will need your... I will need your meat as well. Let's quickly climb this. Yeah, I felt that. Bye bye. <laughs> I'm back to the horse. Oh, I think we're gonna clear both of these, yeah. but we start with the left one because the right one has more enemies. Yeah. Nice little headshot. Ah, they saw me. Oh, wrong enemy. Ah, 
Oh my god. That's... <laughs> that's bad aim. Should have just chilled. That's a shrine I have done. If I remember, yeah, I have done that one. Ooh. Here's actually a good place to quickly snap a picture on that. If we can, oh my god. Just get some distance from it. Meat didn't want to be on a picture. And also, I shouldn't snatch it on a shroom like this. I want to see where where they usually grow, like naturally. Some okay loot. And next, how many eyes do I have? Not many eyes at all. That's no good. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste that on one arrow. Is that a different bird or the same bird as we saw earlier? That's perfect. That's a new one. But I didn't want his friend in the picture. <laughs> That's better. Yeah. Have they seen me? They have. We can kill one. Maybe we can snap a picture on one. That's a cool picture. That's also the ultimate disrespect. <laughs> Snap a quick picture on you before I one-shot you to the face. Oh, Dude, don't use them all up, please. I will actually just quickly aimbot you. So I can get all this sweet, sweet fire fruit. I think fire fruits are like the most uh, valuable... Are... <laughs> Of course, the bomb fruits are more valuable, but these fires are really, really valuable as well. Oh my god. Oh, good job. Did the rest fall down? Yeah. And my horse is somewhere nearby. Did it hear me? It did. Ah, the chest also we need to remember. Hmm? Nice. <laughs> I guess just... Okay, easier to just climb it from the ground up. That. Take these. I don't want to accidentally blow myself up. I hope it didn't hit you. <laughs> then let's keep on climbing. I don't know why the horse gets so scared from for nothing. Oh. <laughs> I wanted the apples. Oh, this is an enemy as well. Oh, 
Ooh, a thick stick. That's nice. Because now we don't have anything to chop down woods with. So if I see uh, a sharp uh, stone, I'm gonna attach it to the thick stick. Let's keep going out on our journey. Mm, here he is, that's one. Hello, dude. And other horses as well. That one looked so nice. Could actually be nice to have two horses in, in the frame for, for the horse picture. Yeah. Why not? But I don't wanna take you away from your little family there, so... I will have my Johnny for a while. <laughs> okay. You have my support, and I have your support, and we have each other's support. Oh, nice. This we can attach. Okay, I have an idea. We're gonna use three, three, three of these. Now we, I did the same. I can't fall down the ledge. That's why I keep dropping it. Uh, put it there, I guess. And then this one. Touch it over there. I think that would be enough. Thank you for your help, Berlinger. Blah, 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 blah. So drop the sign. Mm -hmm. I am gonna support him. He is standing. It's weird that he still gets so shocked every time. I feel like he's, uh, he's ought to learn that I usually fix the problem for him. Perfect. With your help. Blah, 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 blah. So now you're gonna get some money, and then you're gonna get some food and a special item. Stealth up. Always nice. And the bomb flower. Always appreciated. Thank you, thank you, dude. And with that, you're off. And same for me. First, I will clean up our mess that we made. And my horse got scared again. Let's come back, please. Is this one not able to... I don't think so. Okay, horsey. We're off. To the shrine over here, because I have... I have a dot on my... Or not a dot. I have this one. These are sh uh, shrines for me. So I put it there. Because it is a shrine over there. Ooh. Some more fire fruits. Thank you. Oh, tomatoes. <laughs> Should have snapped a picture on that. There would probably be more tomatoes. That's something I probably can burn and then reach. Yeah. Uh, back. Throw one of these. Yeah. Don't even need to burn it up. <laughs> you just walk straight through it. Some amber. Oh, here is the tomatoes also. So let me just be a photograph photographer for a quick second there. What, what do you mean you don't know what it is? What happens if I do it like that? Will it register anything? No, you need to have the name up. It just changed, like last frame. Okay, take it on that instead then. And also on this silent room. Nice. 
nice. Oh. Also loot these tomatoes before we go. And the shrine is up here, I guess. So let me ascend. Because here we have a nice place to ascend. I thought. Yeah. But then I guess we have to climb the last part, but that's okay. It's not that far and we have a lot of stamina. Nice. One shrine and a big stone. I guess we're at Kakariko village also. If I remember correctly, this is the place. And that's the ring thingy. I'm just gonna see what the loot was up here. Looked interesting. That one we already have a photo on, but I don't think we have a photo on this one. That's a great picture. Do we even wanna like rotate for a bit? Oh no, we got a good snap on it. So that the ring ruckus or what it was called. <laughs> Not the ring ruckus. Ring ruckus is a map in a game called Divine Knockout that I also play and make videos on. <laughs> uh, but the ring thingy. But that's a good like uh, marker for the village. Okay, let's do this shrine. Oh, and there we have uh, a dispenser machine. Hopefully we can... It's over there that you can get the, the steering wheels. Because that's, that's the thing I want right now. And the skateboard uh, thingy as well. An upright device. I guess ascend here. I don't see how else I would be able to get up. Ooh. What do these do? Are they like a motor or something? Oh, it's a stabilizer. I understand. So if I hit this, it will stand up. And then if I hit it again, it will crush me. <laughs> okay, I understand. We're gonna glide over, but to be able to glide, we need to... Maybe I don't... Ah, okay, I understand. We're gonna need the height to climb. Okay. I understand. So we're gonna do it... It's gonna fall now. Because it's not active. Don't fall down, please. And then we can ascend here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we can glide. That's clever, actually. Okay, I understand. So we're gonna build a contraption from all the way over here. This one will attach over there. And the ball will be in this little bowl thing. But not attached. I can't even reach it. So I guess I have to put this one closer to me first. Maybe like that. And then ball in bowl. And I think that's a bit too close. So I will just back you up for a bit. And we also want to line you straight up. So you don't have to shoot it to the side. That's a good... And then just a quick little arrow to activate. Boom. We managed. Hmm. 
<laughs> okay. Thought you would be quicker to going in. Let me help you. This we should attach, because I guess the ball needs to go over again. Or just... Oh, it's gonna throw us. Okay, that makes sense. Before we do that, we really want to take that... Um... That chest over there. We just activate that, and then... Ah, oh, I was not really... Went at that. Can I climb this? I just wanna... Okay. I could have ascended here, but I'm gonna climb. Okay, so put it just closer, and you probably will have enough space. Jump over, yeah. God, that's that's my controller acting up. Powerful recover re elixir harness the power of fairies. Ah, oh, this means I need to shoot myself out. You fell the wrong way, dude. But I understand why you did it. You had more weight in the front. Bow will break soon. There we go. And then we quickly, quickly... We should also turn it off first. Oops. And this one... We attach. Maybe not the smartest way to attach it there, because then we can't activate it. We attach it there. Move it a bit closer. For us. I think it's a good spot. Should be enough. Need a new bow. And then we shoot. Perfect. We didn't even need to glide. That was a fun shrine. Okay, so let's just... Quickly go and check these as well. <laughs> okay. So here it was uh, those energy things that you want to drop. These ones. So let's just drop all five. What do we get? Air balloons, wheels. This is something new. Stabilizers. That makes sense because the shrine was nearby. And the big wheels. Okay. And fans and balloons. So some of these we already had earlier. Balloon and fan, I think we have places to get them. But big wheel and stabilizers. That's great. No steering wheel, unfortunately. Should be this. South Ring Ruin Research Journal. Like the other ring ruins, those that fell to the plateau 
South of the village also held a stone slab with Sonai inscriptions. Curiously, we also discovered a flower growing in the ruin, the likes of which we have never seen. Referred in ancient text revealed that as a sundelion, a plant long thought ex ex extinct. We are currently burrowing a local plum orchard for our cultivation efforts and hoping our studies prove fruitful. Note, our investigation of the round device filled with strange objects has meanwhile come to a standstill. Well, I just figured that one out for you guys. Here is a shroom. Think it's something new. Now it's still a silent room. Just didn't shine because it's day, I guess. Uh, what's up here? Oh, wrong. Okay. <laughs> we couldn't... Can we climb? At least. Let's check the inside. Even more text. The stone slab of the South Ring ruin. Some translation notes. Who protect of Hyrule from the Doom and King? Together, King. There was... There were known sage. What I take from this is that it's about a facet of Hyrule as it was in those days. If I were to guess at how to fill in the gaps, it goes something like this. There were those known as sages who protect the kingdom of Hyrule from the Demon King. That might be true or not, I'm not sure. I guess if there would have been loot here, those uh, research team would have already taken it. And is, is it this text that you have uh, translated? Is this like something we can activate anything on? Doesn't look like it, huh? No. So let's just let this be for now. I guess... Oh, here's someone we probably want to talk to. Hmm, <clears throat> yes. What is it? Corey. I need to get back to my Sunderland investigation as soon as possible. I'm sure Travis will be coming to see the stone slab soon. Oh, and I just don't have time for this. Stone slab? We call it the broken rings up ahead, the ring ruins. Uh, they're rem rem remnants of the ancient Sonai civilization. These ruins fell from the sky. Inside we found stone slab carved with writing. The text on the slab is from Sonai civilization, so it's beyond me. But our leader has studied the Sonai language. Yeah, I know that. According to him, the stone slab in these ruins is a record of Hyrule during the ancient days. It says that some people called sages kept the kingdom safe from the, some, some kind of demon king. I can't remember exactly what the slab says. Uh, why bother me when the translate text is right there next to it? Besides my hand are full with Sunderland research, I don't have time to get into the weeds with the sages of king, demon kings and whatnot. Ah, sorry. Just thinking out loud. Now please excuse me. I have to hurry back to my Sunderland research. I'm gonna keep you up for one, one more conversation. The sandlion is a new species of plant. The first one was found in the ruins that fell from the sky. I believe that means they grow on the sky islands. I'm still in the middle of my investigation, but early results indicate that they have some sort of relationship with gloom. If I can prove that, I think they might help those suffering from gloom exposure or, or aid the research of the deaths. In any case, it's rare to find them and this on the surface. So I'm using the village plum garden to see if I can cultivate them. Thanks to the chief's decision, the Sonai survey team has made a lot of progress. Um, if you don't mind, I have research to do. If you're curious about something, ask around. Everyone on the survey team is knowledgeable about something. Let's drop down into the town. I wanna take some of these. That's an impressive carrot. You might be... Reprimanded if you take it. Okay, I cannot just go up and take their their loot. Who is this? And what is this? Ah, we should photograph this so we have that out of the way. A soup ladle. <laughs> yes, that's a nice picture. Yeah, that works. And who are you? Who might you be? 
What to do? Lastly, at this rate, grandmother's health isn't going to... Ugh, and Claire is so busy running the clothing shop. I'll just have to do it myself. I find a cure for my grandmother. What's wrong? Are you a traveler? I guess it doesn't really matter who you are, so long as you're willing to listen. You see, it's my grandmother. She got too close to that nasty gloom stuff and now she's sick and bedridden. Porridge is about the only thing she can keep down right now. I've been trying to mix in ingredients that could help with gloom sickness, but none of them had an effect. I need to cook a porridge that will make my grandmother better. I need it soon. Porridge? It's my grandmother's favorite, made of highland rice, fresh milk and wild greens. She might not normally think to mix those ingredients, but it's surprisingly good. I bought a bunch of highland rice and milk from the merchants who travel the road to the west, so I'm not hurting for this. But I still haven't found the crucial ingredients that fights off gloom sickness. I feel a lot better after talk to you. Thanks for listening. I'll keep experimenting with recipes until I come up with a porridge that works on gloom sickness. I know what work on gloom sickness. So they said Highland Rice. Where is my rice? So it was Sandelion also. So Highland Rice, milk. Oh, not salt. And some greens from the... So let's try this. Sunny veggie porridge. Restores heart damage by gloom. So can I give this to you now? It's just getting worse and worse. I need to hurry and make her a porridge that will help with her gloom sickness. Ha! Huh? What is this gentle aroma? Is that porridge I smell? Could it be? Did you make a porridge that could help with gloom sickness? Gloom sickness? Give this a try. What? Did you say this was again? A sunny veggie porridge? I've never made anything sunny before. Maybe this will help my grandmother. I hope so. Well, Grandmother, how is it? Ah. Thank you, Leslie. That was the first meal I've been able to finish in quite a while. Grandmother, your complexion. The color is coming back to your cheeks. Ah. That's nice. Hey, look, are you seeing this? A few bites of your sunny veggie porridge. And it's like she never even was sick. Oh. So you were the one who made that porridge for me. Such a gentle flavor. It didn't just nourish my body, but my spirit too. Thanks to you and my granddaughter, it seems like I'll be around for a long time yet. I'm so grateful to the both of you. Ah! Grandmother, what are you doing up? Ah. Oh, Clary, I'm sorry I worried you. But this nice young man made me a wonderful sunny veggie porridge. So now I'm feeling much better. Hold on, you're doing this much better after one bowl of porridge? I guess I knew that was Lastly's plan, but I'm still amazed it actually worked. Ah. Now, when I'm feeling better, you should hurry and prepare for your journey, Lastly. Oh. Huh? You knew? <laughs> you can't get anything by her, Lastly. Besides, everyone knows studying fashion in Hateno village is your dream. Grandmother and I can take care of Enchanted by herself. Trust me, you deserve this. Ah. Clary, are you sure you don't want to go study with her? Oh. Well, I'd be lying if I said I didn't, but there's something else I want more. I want to make Enchanted a success. Enchanted a success? Right here in my beloved Kakariko village, right next to my beloved grandmother. Ah. And I dream of someday filling our store with store wall. I dream of someday filling our store wall to wall with outfits you designed, lastly. So don't worry about me. Go study hard in Ateno village and come back to us as a fine, as a fashion icon. You mean it? Thank you, Clary. That's a wholesome family. And thank you, grandmother. Well, now that grandmother, grandmother's is all better, I think it's time to head back to the shop. I got to make sure our prices are back to normal and everything's ready for our customers. You should come by Enchanted yourself. We will. We will check it out. Thank you so much for your help. I made a lot of porridge trying to find a cure for my grandmother. We won't be able to eat it all ourselves. I think it turned out pretty tasty though. So I, I'd love to give you some to take on your journey. Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to work hard for my big sister. Just watch. I'll be a fashion designer who changes the world. I believe in you. But we're gonna visit that store. 
the next episode because now we have run out of time again thank you for watching all the way to the end if you have made it this far please like this video if you enjoyed watching it and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the upcoming episode or episodes rather this has been 23 i will see you in the next episode and bye bye